Perchie, well played. How do you reflect on today's win, which ultimately means Mansfield, unfortunately, miss out on a uh, top seven finish? Well, first of all, today's win was uh, a good performance and a, and a very good win. Um, but in the end of it, it's, it doesn't feel like that because we haven't made the playoffs. I think there was one goal off and we had enough chances today to, to get that third goal and what it would take to get into the playoffs. It's a little bit disappointing, but that's been the story of our season. Yeah, because you had an abundance of chances to get one more, didn't you? Yeah, so when he last minute or last few minutes, um, you'd have fancied him to bury that, but I think it took a deflection anyway, but we didn't get the corner. And then first off, I think we had a few um, few situations from corners and stuff and just didn't go in. And Steve, like you've watched us now for nine, ten months, that's just the way it's gone. How do you look back on the season? Disappointing in, in general when we've come so close and when it comes down to one goal uh, I don't know if the gaffer mentioned it but when, you, when you're falling up against Crawley and you concede a late goal up against Swindon you concede that last last two minute goal you look back and those goals have effectively cost us Those are the games specifically that you uh, reflect upon and pinpoint Yeah definitely because if we didn't concede or if we stayed concentrated for the full 90 minutes instead of 85 or 80 or whatever minutes and didn't concede those goals we'd be in the playoffs now so I think looking forward into next season, the gaffer said it in the dressing room, that's something that we need to need to address and need to iron out. You could also say as well, if you're looking at things statistically, the home form this season, the home record hasn't been as good as it was previously, but the away has been tremendous. Yeah, I think the gaffer mentioned it in the dressing room, we've got the best away record in the league. Um, and you've, you go back last year, I think we probably had the best home record, didn't we? So it's kind of flipped, it flipped on its head a little bit. But well, that's something we can take into next season and um, try and get both working together. Can you put your finger on why Mansfield haven't been as good as her, uh, at home but have been so effective away? I think when you're at home and you've got a full, fully fit squad and you can, and you can go for it, um, I think that makes it a lot easier. But when you come away from home, you can be a bit more pragmatic and you can play players out of position and you can almost sit back a little bit and, and catch them on the counter. But at home, you have to go for it. And when you haven't got a left-back, you haven't had a left-back all season pretty much um, and certain different injuries I think it does disrupt the rhythm at home I've asked for your immediate thoughts on the season what are your feelings? Feelings uh, a little so like I said disappointed um, tired uh, just gutted you know the fans have come today in numbers brilliant today uh, they came here to, to see us get that last push into the playoffs. It didn't quite work, but I think they've been, they've been superb all season and um, they've never let us down. I know you don't like talking about yourself, but how do you think you've done this season, Perchie? Uh, OK. Uh, I can't believe you asked that question, Steve. I know that I don't like saying anything. But um, I don't look at it and think um, I've done well or I've done bad. I'll just, I'll just come out and do my job and play where the gaffer wants me to play and if it's good enough for him then I'm happy. Am I right in saying you're out of contract now? I am yeah. What does the future hold? I'm not sure, um, I'm not too sure, I'm going to have a, I think we've got a few days off now and meetings with the gaffer this week, late on this week so we'll see what he says, if he wants to keep me I'll stay, I'm, I'm more than happy here, um, if he doesn't then have you got a job? <laughs> <laughs> have, you got, have you got a job going? Unfortunately not. Uh, you do want to stay. You, you just said that there. It, it really does seem a good fit for you, Mansfield, not only because of, uh, well, it's your hometown club, but you, you seem to bring so much in terms of your experience on and off the, off the pitch. Yeah, I love it. I've, I've loved it ever since I came through the door. Um, and I loved it even as a kid. I come into Mansfield games and stuff, so I've got a big affiliation with the club. Um, and like I said, my experience um, is worth a lot, I think, to this group, me and Quinny. Um, 74 between us a lot of games um, and I think we've got a good blend of youth and experience so if I'm here you know I'd like to pass that experience on to the young lads um, even if I'm not playing as much I think I can I, can, I think I can help this club Final thoughts Perchie as the season closes here um, Thanks to everyone who's supported us this year hopefully next, next year we can do it I know we said that last year but it's been a tough year this has for, for the lads the lads have grafted especially when we've had so many injuries the lads have stuck together and the lads have fought um, like the fans have done for us I'd just like to say a th massive thank you to them and uh, see you all next year hopefully Thanks for your endeavours and your time Brilliant, cheers Steve up.